Hi, I'm in World 7, and this is my video on the Apple Arcade Spider game for iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch, iMac, and Apple TV. This game is an adventure single player developed by Sumo Digital LTD. The file size comes around 1.8 gigabytes and the H rating is 4 plus years old. This game caught my attention at the beginning when they first launched it, mostly due to the premise and the fact that the graphics looked really good. I always appreciate games that take a gamble with trying new things or things that are not done often. For example, traversing the world as a tiny little spider and making her cute at the same time. The art style and sound effects work together to bring this Cold War era vibe-ish that coupled with light humor from the characters, which there is no voice acting, sadly, I think it would make a huge difference and make this world slightly more interesting, which is already interesting, but more unique on and of itself. Uh, the controls are fairly easy and they work just fine. But, but, there are some times where you have to overcome a bit of awkwardness when going over objects because the controls tend to stick to the direction you are aiming rather than adapting to the floor that your character, which is a tricky thing to program anyway, but I think it would work better. Of course, it'd be more comfortable, yet the speed that the spider or the character itself move isn't fast enough, so I don't think it's a big issue. The camera though, I wish I could have a higher sensitivity to move around, especially on touch devices. But I got used to the fact that if you hold it at the direction you want to go, it actually doesn't take that long to look around where you want to look at. And on the Mac side of things though, the controls are a bit awkward. In order to look around, you have to press control and then move your mouse. And you cannot move the camera unless you hold the control key which to me is awkward. If you're tr trying to move around, but the camera doesn't tend to like do the, like look to where you need to go because it always follows your character from behind, uh, for traveling long distances, that's no issue. But for s precise puzzle figuring out puzzles and gathering your bearing, it is uncomfortably annoying. Uh, but it is what it is. The game runs at 30 FPS and it looks beautiful, especially on honestly the iPad Pro and the iMac Pro. Uh, the base model is the one I have. Uh, the game is a looker on those things. So besides the control on the Mac and sensitivity settings not being customizable on touch devices, my first impressions of the game are really positive. If you would like me to make a review, then let me know in the comment section below. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button with the bell and the like button uh, activated so you get notifications when my new videos come out, such as Xbox Game Pass related weekly and monthly videos, uh, plus Apple Arcade first impressions, reviews, and other random tech tips on streaming technology in general. Uh, to finish off on the iPhone, it might have been just the level itself, the one I was on, but I'm curious to keep going and see if it is a trend. But the second level didn't look as impressive on my iPhone 11 Pro Max as it did on the iPad, the first level did on the iPad and iMac. So I will keep playing this personally and remember, give it a try yourself. It's a small, cute, fun and a bit unique. And I believe this has the makings of being one of the best Apple Arcade games out there. I'm in World 7. And I hope that I get to see you on my Twitch stream every day of the week, except Tuesday. Link in the description and social media accounts. So till next time, stay frosty, my friends.